Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to start with karaoke, with Kriya. <laughs> I don't know why I always mispronounce that. I do it out of habit. Kriya yoga breathing. So please breathe in as you breathe in. Uh, if you can, visualize the air moving from your backbone, from your tailbone, going through the backbone all the way to the back of your head, and then moving through the center of your head where your third eye chakra is. As you exhale, see the reverse side going from the center of your head to the back of your head, all the way through your backbone, all the way down to your tailbone. As you inhale, say hung, H-O-N-G, or hum, H-U-M. As you exhale, you can say in your mind's eye, so, S-O-W, and you, it's suggested to do it from the throat. So let's do that a few times. It cleans your kundalini line and also raises your vibration. If you feel the tingling, all of that, or, or um, in your back and around your neck, your hands, that's basically when your vibration is increasing. So keep doing it. Thank you. Now visualize, if you can, otherwise set your intent and it shall be that you have this beautiful light from the multiverse, from the sky, entering your crown chakra located on top of your head. If you wish, you can visualize each chakra to be like a lotus or a rose, whatever flower you feel comfortable. And it is covering it in golden light. fully and completely it cleans and energizes it moves down to your third eye chakra at the center of your head it's covering it in golden light fully and completely it cleans and energizes it moves down to your throat chakra at the center of your throat. It's covering it in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your heart chakra at the center of your chest where your sternum is. It's covering it in golden light fully and completely it cleans and energizes it moves down to your solar plex that is located three inches above your navel it's covering it in golden light fully and completely it cleans and energizes it moves down to your sacral chakra, two and a half inches below navel. It's covering it in golden light fully and completely. It cleans and energizes. It moves down to your basic chakra where your tailbone, your sex organs are located. It's covering it in golden light fully. And completely, it cleans and energizes. Beautiful light travels through your leg, goes all the way down, all the way down. And it touches, it makes contacts with Mother Earth. And it keeps traveling all the way to the core of Mother Earth. 
and start expanding through the core of Mother Earth. We share this rejuvenating and healing energy from the multiverse with Mother Earth with our gratitude and thanks for the, all the bounty that is giving us every moment of our lives. As this spreads, a sliver of it travels back, coming up through our legs, travels through rare chakra, Ming Ming, back solar plex, back heart chakra. As it does travel, it cleanses and energizes, and these are the action chakras, keeps moving up toward your ground chakra, and it joins the multiverse. So you right now, having this beautiful multiverse, connecting you all the way with Mother Earth and is traveling through your chakras. Now we're going to clean your auric layers. You're going to expand this multiverse light that is traveling through our body, through chakras. So you're going to expand it to cover your first auric layer if you can visualize, visualize that you're in a bubble, at the center of the bubble, and your auric layer is the surrounding area, which would be the bubble. So you're covering that in golden light, fully and completely. The first four layers, or where the manifestation you would feel through any pain and aches and issues within the body. So be covering that in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and excel anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the second auric layer, you expand to cover the second auric layer. If you wish, you can visualize that your bubble either expands to cover the second auric layer, or you have a second bubble that just it gets covered, and that would be covering your second auric layer. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. <laughs> Moving on to the third auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your third auric layer. I like to expand my bubble to cover the third auric layer. It is now covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fourth auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your fourth auric layer. It is covering it in golden light fully and completely <clears throat> if you can visualize that your intent and it shall be any and all blockages anything less than love dissipate disintegrate now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you moving on to the fourth auric layer the golden light expands to cover your fourth 
auric layer. It's covering it in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than law, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fifth auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your fifth auric layer. It is covering it in golden light fully and completely. <clears throat> Any and all blockages, anything less than law, dissipate, disintegrate. Now, Take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the sixth auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your sixth auric layer. It is covering it in golden light fully and completely. <clears throat> Any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the seventh auric layer, the golden light expands to cover your second auric layer. It's covering it in golden light fully and completely any and all blockages anything less than love dissipate disintegrate now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you now i would like you to if you can visualize otherwise set your intent See the seven layers, all in golden lights in between. <clears throat> all through the grooves. It's all shiny in golden light. Very bright light. Bright, bright. Bright, bright white and gold light with silver lining. Any and all blockages in between, just get dispensed with. And you can compress your auric layers. If you have a shield, this is a way to do so, to keep your shield refreshed. Now moving on to the templates, the same format as the auric layer. Each template corresponds to a chakra, starting with the first template corresponding to the basic chakra, same principle. You either set your intent or you can visualize that the golden light is covering your, set, your first template fully and completely any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now you can be bred and excel anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the second template corresponding to your sacral chakra. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than law, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you.
Moving on to the third template corresponding to your solar plex. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve. Moving on to the fourth template corresponding with your heart chakra. It is covered in golden light, fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, precipitate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the fifth template corresponding with throat chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love. Dissipate, disintegrate, now. Take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the sixth template corresponding with your third eye. It is covered in golden light fully and completely. Any and all blockages, anything less than love, Precipitate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Moving on to the seventh template corresponding with crown chakra. It is covered in golden light fully and completely any and all blockages, anything less than love, dissipate, disintegrate. Now take a deep breath and exhale anything that does not serve you. Now see your template, all seven of them, wrapped in beautiful golden light in between all around compress it's all in bright 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 white gold and silver line now any and all stray or junk thoughts within your auric layers. See that they are transmute into bright white light. Or set your intent and it shall be and absorbs within your auric layer, your energetic field. You should feel reduction of thoughts if you have any at this time any and all astray or junk thoughts transmute them into light bright 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 light and absorbs within your energetic field now we're going to dispense with links to do so you can visualize electrical plug with a cord attached to it and that electrical plug is attached to your energetic bodies the other side of the cord has another plug attached to other incarnated 
individuals, wherever they are, whoever they are, who they call attached to their energetic bodies. So dislodge them from both sides with your intention. And you can see that it disintegrates into bright, bright, luminescent white light. You transmute them and absorbs within your energetic body. Any and all core siblings, any and all karmic links that no longer serves, any and all energetic links from us to others, brothers to us, or in between, that is less than love, no longer serves, centigrades into luminous white light, divine light, transmute, changes, and absorbs within your energetic field. On the other side of it, absorb within the energetic field of the other individuals. Since this all gets changed into light, all the cavities are also already filled with beautiful luminous light. Now we are going to open our chakras, starting with the basic chakra. To open a chakra, it's like a cone with the whiteness away from your body. You extend it fully for the basic chakra toward the ground. And you rotate it clockwise. To rotate it clockwise, you can visualize a clock with a handle moving from 12 to 3 to 6 to 9 to 12. Or you can say, I'm extending my basic chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my basic chakra now. Moving on to the sacral chakra, two and a half inches below navel, extend it fully. In front of you, rotate it clockwise or say, I'm extending my sacral chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my sacral chakra now. Moving on to the solar plex chakra, three inches above navel, extend it fully, rotate it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my solar plex chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my solar plex chakra now. Heart chakra, center of your chest where your sternum is, extend it fully in front of you, rotate it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my heart chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my heart chakra now, throat chakra, extend it fully in front of you, rotate it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my throat chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my throat chakra now. Third eye chakra, at the center of your head, where your eyebrows meet. Extend it fully in front of you, rotate it clockwise, or say, I'm extending my third eye chakra fully, rotating it clockwise, or I'm opening my third eye chakra now. You may feel heat or temperature, but that's all good. Now going toward the crown above your head, right on top of your head, you extend it fully toward the sky, Rotate it clockwise or say, I'm extending my crown chakra fully, rotating it clockwise or I'm opening my crown chakra now. 
You're now at seventh frequency. Now in your mind's eye, say, I'm of high frequency now, and no astral entities can attach to me at this level or any of the below levels. So any astral entity in your auric layers or any other layers in your chakra, inside the groove of chakra, they will all just slide like you're a Teflon and they can stick to you. Just slide off you and there is this powerful vacuum that's sucking them all back to multiverse. Repeat, I'm of high frequency now and no astral entities at this level or below levels can attach to me. And see that they all slide and it's sucked in by the vacuum back to multiverse. Now we're gonna start our meditation. It's a meditation to change our reality. I hope you enjoy it. Spar by Needler. And I just want you to look at in this state the aspect of what's happening around you what is your life how is it working what do you do how do you work who do you work with how do you interact with them what do you earn how do you spend it how do you interact with your loved ones your partners your children or your parents the environment that you're in how do, you pro, how do you recreate? I'm going to say procreate there. <laughs> how do you, you know, make the most of the time you've got? How do you educate yourself? What's happening with you right now? And I want you to see the parts that you think or you feel aren't appropriate or aren't appropriate anymore. What led to you being in this current level of interaction with your environment and those individuals that you interact with within the environment? What led you to be in this reality right now? At what point in the past, if you want to call it, what point further upstream in the, in the, events, in the uh, event stream within a certain event space changed to make you move down this particular event stream to create this particular reality? Go back up the event stream. Go back into the, the upstream, so to speak, series of conditions that created this, this particular reality. See the thought processes within yourself or other individuals that have led to the creation of this particular reality. Trace it back upstream. See where this particular reality became a possibility or the possibility of a possible possibility or the possible possibility of a possible possible possibility. See where this particular possibility of this reality was manifest. Go back to that point. Consider it like you're moving from the bud 
on a branch of a tree, moving to the next biggest branch, then going to the next biggest branch. Each time you get to a branch, you see a different direction you could have gone into, but you go back down to the mainstream. Go to the next mainstream, go to the next mainstream, go to the next mainstream. Working back until you see the largest branch and almost the trunk. Go to where the branch diversifies or fractalizes from the trunk. And rather than choosing to go down or making the decision to do go in one direction, which led you to go down that particular tr um, branch, decide to stay on the trunk instead. And all the different things that create the reality that you're in now start to correct themselves back into the mainstream of the trunk. So the reality that you're in now starts to dissolve because it no longer exists. There was nothing to create its existence. It may have dissolve in its entirety because other individuals may also be supporting it. But notice how you're becoming detached from it. Notice how the change from one particular event stream within an event space that creates the, the possibility of a reality has a decision point. All realities have a decision point. A point where one or many individuals decide to go one direction rather than another direction. That's not just in movement or travelling, it's also in for example, a thought process, a desire, a need, a want, an observational movement. See how you can change where you are now by moving back up the event stream to the point where this particular reality was created or the decision that you took to, to participate in this particular reality. Bypass it. Go back down that branch, straight back to the point where that branch was created. And then choose to go into the mainstream of the next biggest branch or even follow it back down, the different branches of which the different smaller branches are part of until the, you meet the point where the branch fractalizes from the trunk. The use of a tree in this example is particularly useful. Okay, move down upstream so to speak, which is down the which is down the branches as they join together to create one big branch and then that big branch joins into the trunk. See yourself actively making the choice to stay in the trunk rather than move down into that branch. See yourself nipping a particular reality in the bud it no longer exists. You never went down that road. You stayed on the main high street, so to speak. You stayed in the trunk. You didn't become part of the tree as a branch, and then a smaller 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 branch. Then a smaller branch. Notice how you can return back to the mainstream and change your reality by refusing to make that decision in that event space where you did make the decision to come down this particular branch. Use an example where you, you've got to where you are now and trace it back. And at the point where you made a decision to do this rather than that, go forward rather than backwards, go up 
or rather than down, to go left rather than right. To do this rather than do that. Choose to do that instead. And that will change this particular reality. This downstream reality. By changing the decision point in the upstream condition. See yourself using your intuitive decision not to go down a route which is basically an evolutionary dead end. Everything that's around you from a reality based perspective now starts to dissolve and go away. Leaving you in a, a neutral condition back into the mainstream, back into the trunk, so to speak. Practice this meditation on every reality that you choose to reject and move back into the mainstream of the trunk, if you wish. It's very powerful, extremely powerful. And if enough of us get together, we'll be able to change larger or even global realities as well. Okay, so slowly come back into the room, and there you've... Now, we're going to start setting our intent. First, we join our intent and send the global intent for unity, oneness. throughout the earth. Collectively. No longer any separation. Breathe, ethnicity, race, gender. Now we're going to set our individual intent. I'm going to stop the recording. For those who are listening, they can move their, move and grab a glass of water to ground themselves. <laughs> 